Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this video, we will discuss about how do you prepare for AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Exam. And um, I have recently given this examination and passed. So based on my experience of preparing the exam and how did I pass it, I'm going to share some tips and techniques with you and I'm hoping that it will be helpful to you. How to prepare and pass AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Exam without stress. So if you follow these techniques, I'm sure that you can pass it and you can clear the examination without feeling stressed out. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about AWS, about the exam, what is it, exam pattern, exam fees and how do you book it, resources to follow, the resources which I have followed, I will discuss uh, my resources with you. If you find it, you know, relevant for yourself, you can refer the same. And then we have uh, the last one is uh, some practice test. AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Exam. If you're not aware about AWS, it stands for Amazon Web Services. It is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud offering over 200 fully featured services from data centers globally. CFP Cloud Certification Practitioner Exam is a certification exam which helps you in learning fundamentals of cloud technologies. That's why they say that anybody, even if you are not from IT background, you can prepare for the exam and you can get it certified. Now let's talk about exam pattern. Total number of questions will be 65. There is no negative marking. Total time will be 90 minutes. Pattern is multiple choice questions. So you will come across questions um, of two types. So one is there will be a question statement and four um, answers will be given. You have to choose one answer. Second style is a um, problem statement is given. Question will be given to you and you will be asked to choose two correct answers out of, uh, out of uh, four or five you know, um, answers. So multiple choice questions and question and answers. Fees will be around 120 uh, pounds with taxes because I'm in London. So I booked it in, uh, you know, um, London. So I paid 120, 20 pounds was the taxes that I paid and 100 pounds was the fees. So 120 for me. You can go to AWS uh, official website, go to um, certification, training and certification. And there you will see all the details. I mean, whichever country you belong to, you can pick, select the country and it will show you the taxes as per that country. Then you can book the exam. And depending upon the, uh, you know, your availability, you can give the exam either from your home or you can go to a physical center. At home, if you give, so the process is very much simple. When you book for the exam, you will get exam uh, confirmation email. In that confirmation email, they will give you a link on to do the system test before the actual test begins. So you have to just click on that system um, test link. What will happen? It will do the setup on your laptop from which you are going to give the exam. It will do the setup and everything, do some installation. It will ask you for your mobile number and, you know, do the validation and setup then your exam will be ready for you to give it up on the exam day let's say your exam is today at 10 o'clock so you have to log in 30 minutes before you will log in at 9 30 and then uh, you will go to the site um, aws training site sign up with your email id and then you will see that you have registered for aws cloud practitioner exam and it will ask you to check in you will click on check in and then there will be an invigilator uh, that chat box will open and somebody, either a <clears throat> man or a female, she will ping you and she will say, please, can you give me, uh, you know, look around in your room? Where are you sitting? From which desk are you giving your exam? So you have to just move the camera in every nook and corner of the room and show her that, you know, you are sitting alone and giving the exam. There is no one to disturb you and there are no chances of you doing some cheating or anything like that. They will ask you to, you know, show or take the picture of the table. If you have a setup like that, uh, under the table, behind you, left, right, you know, all the possible angles, they will ask you to take pictures and they will ask you to show it from the laptop camera. Then you can show them. Once that is done, once uh, they verify it, you will be all okay to start your exam. When you start giving exam, 
there will be a timer limit on the top so you can see the time how much time is remaining for you and uh, there will be also a flag a question for example you are at second question and you are stuck you want to review that question then you can come back to that later point of time review it and then give your final answer that's why i have written down a note here you can review your answers in the end you can flag a question sometimes multiple answers can be asked to select from a given question so there will be total 65 questions right and with every question you will have review flag as review and in the end also when you reach at 65 question there will be two tabs either you can submit or you can review all of the questions so if you are prepared well mostly everybody you know everybody uh, finishes the exam before the allocated time so you will have roughly 50 to 20 minutes extra in hand that you can utilize to review your questions now let's talk about resources that i followed so um before giving the exam i was very overwhelmed with the resources with the um, plethora of um, youtube channels and the you know videos all around us so it's first it is very important very crucial for you to decide which resource you want to pick it up from where you want to start your preparation I purchased um CFP exam course on Udemy from Neil Davis. So what I did actually um this is just my personal experience. You check some tutors on YouTube, right? Like Stephen Marek, uh, Neil Davis and Free Code Camp. You can check some um videos and see if you are able to understand if you are able to match with their speed if you are able to understand the concept that they are explaining. If yes, then go to Udemy and purchase their course. So this is what I did. I purchased a course on Udemy from Neil Davis. I really find it very very useful. It's I think 14 hours or 16 hours a video and with every chapter he has given some exam tips and after every chapter he has given exam cram uh, those tips that you can revise at any point of time. so like that and uh, you can understand the concepts while he's explaining the chapters second what i did purchase question bank from udemy from neil devi so once you are done with the uh, preparation or maybe in the middle halfway also you can do some practice tests just to see you know where you stand so in the beginning definitely you will fail so no need to worry about that i failed two two mock i attempted i failed my confidence level went low i i thought okay it's i i, I will be failed in the final exam but as you progress like if i start preparation today and after two weeks if i see my um, you know progress then definitely at that point of time you will feel confident you will feel that um, maybe you can clear the exam okay that level that degree of confidence you should get while giving mock exams so i purchased some mock exams from neil uh, and then uh, digital training site so he is a founder of digital uh, digital training so i went to this site and uh, there are some cheat sheet available for aws cloud practitioner and it's free of course you can refer them it's very very useful it's just Um, some highlights you know of the chapter for example if you are reading about aws s3 then he will explain what is s3 what are the different classes available why glacier is used um, for how many days data can be retained you know very much on a um, high level which you can use one day before the exam so that you know it will be fresh in your memory uh with this when i was going through udemy course on uh, when i was going through on udemy course parallelly i was checking aws official documentation also um, and i read some white paper also so it's good if you read about the services in detail right um it is like let let me just give you one example for example aws kinesis video streaming is a service which is used to stream your videos um uh, and it, it doesn't use machine learning language right so now there will be a question asked um a company is using uh, some service which is not machine uh, which is not using machine based uh, learning languages it does not support machine based uh, languages uh, but it is used for video streaming and in a hybrid type of environment so which service is that and then there will be four options kinesis video stream kinesis data analytics kinesis one more and then one more 
so it will be little tricky to you know they will give you answers to confuse you but if you know about the uh, service concept then it will be easier for you to directly select the answer and move ahead so official documentation is good if you are reading about let's say you are reading about ec2 okay which is a virtual instance virtual server on cloud so read about the cheat sheet uh, and first understand what is ect from the course whoever is explaining and then go to official documentation just uh, you know uh, quickly on a high level just read the main main points what is it how do we create it what are the main factors that goes into creating an ec2 instance and um, uh, how can we launch it what is the region you know global infrastructure and all that thing these all details um, he has explained um, you know on the course and on the official documentation obviously it's very much detailed comprehensive documentation so spend time wisely uh, one more thing I would like to say. So when I was preparing for it, uh, I mean, it was so much overwhelming that because you, you before that you don't know about cloud, you have just heard on the high level. But when you start preparing for the examination, there will be so many new things which you are not aware of. So make notes, you know, handwritten notes, or if you prefer to write in Word or Notepad, do that. That will be very helpful one day or two days before the final exam. Keep in mind, so these are some of the points which I I have written from my side. Make notes as you follow along with each chapter, the main main points you can note down. Don't cheat and attempt the quiz honestly after each chapter. So if you buy any course on Udemy, so if you buy any course on Udemy, after every chapter there will be a quiz of seven questions or ten questions like that. So at that point of time, don't cheat yourself and try to attempt it's okay you will be giving wrong answers in the beginning that's fine you can retake those quiz as many as number of times so when you feel confident go and give it again to feel confident that you have done seven questions correct out of ten understand the concept and learn it don't mug up the uh, concepts don't try to just you know remember everything if you do like this then you will fail the exam understand try to understand the concept okay uh, what is uh, um, what is s3 what is EC2, what is IAAS, and, uh, you know, what are hybrid solution, what is storage gateway, what is VPC, and um, how do you connect uh, through network from your own premises to AWS cloud, how do you do that? So try to understand the concept, if not in a deeper level, on a very high level, that will help you for this exam. And no rush. Don't worry about, you know, that if you have purchased a course today that you have to finish the uh, Udemy course in 20 days or, or in two days or three days. No rush. Spend one hour daily to keep studying for the exam. So initially what I did, I used to spend four hours and then next day I would feel that I have read so much and which is not easy to remember all the things. So then I started um, spending low time less amount of time as compared to you know more as i was doing earlier so if you spend i think one hour should be good enough because one hour to learn a new concept itself is a lot of information to grasp and to understand and to put it in your mind so spend one hour daily to keep studying for the exam and if you follow this regime if you follow one hour daily to understand aws concepts for the cloud practitioner exam I can assure you that you can pass the exam within 30 days for sure. 30 days, one month religiously, you prepare for the exam for one hour every day. And um, then in the end, give some mock exams. Give some mock exams. And um, don't give many mock exam. Rather, I would say focus on the concepts. There are many sites available on YouTube. Actually, one is on AWS official site itself. You go to AWS official site and there will be one practice test. Give that. That will increase your confidence because that is easy. Ten questions only. And uh, then on YouTube, you can go to... Um, there are a couple of sites. If you search with AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Question and Answers, you will come across some videos where they have explained the question and answers as well. Some people, what they do, they don't read the documentation. They don't purchase any course on Udemy. Directly, they go and check the videos Q&A. But I don't think so. That will be helpful. That will take more time. That is more time consuming. 
सो बेटर फॉर यू टू परचेज अ कोर्स और मे बी फ्री कोर्ड कैंप इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न टेन और ट्वेल्व आवर्स ऑफ वीडियो एट स्ट्रेच देन यू कैन टेक दैट एंड अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट मेक नोट्स then book the exam and uh, one day before the exam don't learn anything don't over pressurize yourself and uh, that's it you should be able to clear the exam thank you for watching testing inside the mukta sharma if you have any questions related to aws cloud certification practitioner exam please write them in the comments so that i can help you and uh, yes immediately as soon as you submit your exam within 2 minutes your uh, status will be shown on the screen whether you have passed the certification or you are failed so if you book the exam before 15th july i think you can use aws retake as the code during checkout to give um, another retake if you and if you by any chance if you fail first attempt then you can you know give the second exam free of cost that is extra bit of info from my end so i hope this is helpful thank you so much for watching all the videos on my channel and i will see you in the next video until then please take care of yourself bye